All right, today I bring you the topic of indigestion, something I'm very familiar with. Um, I think that throughout my life I've suffered with indigestion so much that I might as well be more certified than a doctor. Uh, it's actually crazy, uh, and I think it's a lot largely genetic, but also uh, I've been able to eradicate my indigestion over the past like five or six months almost completely. I've kind of forgotten what it's like. Uh, and these are some dietary and lifestyle changes. They're, they're also not crazy huge. So, um, I mean, it might be if... it. I mean, it's a lifestyle change, right? So either way, it's going to take effort. But depending on where you're at, uh, you might already be halfway there. Uh, so I've been struggling with indigestion since I was like 11 or 12. Um, maybe even younger. Well, actually, that is that's false. I, I, yeah, I was younger. I've had heartburn. I've known what heartburn feels like since a very young age. Um, so that bit is genetic, right? But I have not had heartburn in probably six months. Uh, and that is completely because of the three things we're going to talk about, right? So maybe you suffer from heartburn or something. Or if it's uh, stomach aches, things of that sort. Uh, this is such a simple way to solve that. Um, and I'll, honestly, I'm going to add another one real quick. Uh, because I've noticed that also for like bowel movement, this last point I'm going to make is absolutely massive. Okay, step one. Ready? Sugar. Sugar is, for me, the biggest. It's sugar and grease. So like p foods like pizza or whatever. Uh, but that's pretty self-explanatory. It's actually sugar that is the biggest thing that gives me indigestion. So... Um, whether it's I ate candy or honestly, I just ate a lot of carbs that day or soda. <sighs> what else? Oh, uh, fig bars. I used to have a like fig bar addiction uh, and I'd eat, not, not an addiction, but I eat like three a day. <laughs> that will give you heartburn. Uh, let me tell you. Um, or like being on road trips and, and uh, fig bars can be good, but or like oatmeal bars. Like they just, eesh. No, 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 no. <laughs> it just, it, they hit you pretty hard if you uh, overindulge. Average, I want you to picture the average gas station trip or like stop on a road trip, okay? Like whatever dookie you're buying, and I'm, I buy the dookie too. If it's like slushies or it, it just, it kills, it kills. Um, and that, that will cause me heartburn, but also like stomach aches and uh, also kill my bowel movement. So being able to be very conscious of sugar and uh, cut down on that has been great. But the, also the third point I'm going to make here will also just make the whole sugar step, cutting out sugar easier. Exercise, being in shape. If you are in like top tier shape, uh, you can actually eat most of the time whatever you want. But uh, because your metabolism is like in, you know, it's pretty fast. But I still wouldn't recommend that uh, because you're still subject to getting heartburn. Uh, you'll you'll definitely be affected less from the bad foods, but uh, that's a really horrible excuse for eating junk food. Oh, I'm in really good shape, so I can eat a whole pizza. No, you're in really good shape, so you're going to eat a salad. You're going to eat a fruit, so you can stay in good shape. It's really simple. But I used to do this, especially when I was playing high school basketball. Um, I would like... Before games, uh, I'd be so hungry, I'd go, like, get Wendy's. Please, if anybody's playing sports, don't get a burger, baconator fries, and a Sprite before a game. Please don't do that. I'm begging you. It is such a horrible idea. Okay? Awful. But being in shape does, in fact, uh, just regular exercise. If you're exercising every day for at least, like, 15 minutes, uh, just if you're, if you're allowing yourself to sweat through exercise, if you're exercising to the point of sweating every single day, Awesome. Great. You'll probably suffer from indigestion, you know, quite a bit less. Uh, third point, though, is uh, the amount of time you spend digesting during a day. So for me, the best digestion hack I have found, or honestly, one of the greatest life hacks I found is intermittent fasting. It's uh, just really spacing out my meals, and it's usually just waiting till I get home from school around like three, four, or five to eat, for, eat my first meal just because... I'm able to focus better and uh, I have more energy because I'm not digesting. But uh, the more time you spend digesting, honestly, you're more likely to get backed up. You're more likely to just, there's going to be some wear and tear, honestly, on your uh, organs just because of constant running. So my advice for you is to stop snacking. Uh, 
when you eat your meals, like fill up if that's what you want it. Like if that's what you're trying to do, if that's the, if you're snacking because you're not full, I want you to like get full on a meal, uh, but avoid snacking. Uh, and then in my case, it's intermittent fasting. I just, I eat less. I spend less time eating, I should say. When I am eating, I'm, I'm getting those calories in, okay? Like I'm eating a lot. But uh, other than that, I don't waste my time with food because it, it's just, it's a lot on my, like, my digestive system. And then lastly, uh, most of what I'm talking about will affect heartburn and stomach uh, problems. But for like your lower tract and your bowel movement, being hydrated, and even for heartburn, just being hydrated is so crucial. Um, I think a lot of times, like if you have a hard time passing stuff, you're probably just dehydrated, honestly. And I've noticed this too, if I have to drink a lot of water, um, and that's okay. Uh, it, just, it helps me pass Everything that goes through me will go through me so much smoother, and I'll just feel better if I'm hydrated. And then, yeah, it also just helps the entire digestive tract if you have water in you. So drink your water, and then cut out sugar, spend less time eating, exercise. Very simple things, but I thought I'd, like, reinstate these. And uh, you have an awesome day, and be cool. <laughs> See ya.